Greetings and salutations, gamers. This is the legend, the one and only, yours truly, John the Gamer 64. And welcome to a very cool project video. So for today's project, we'll be replacing the housing for the original Game Boy with a badass translucent neon green color shell. Always been fond of that color, so why not? <laughs> and as you can see, you got the old school uh, carrying case for Game Boy. <laughs> I actually got this from Retro City Games like a long, long time ago. I think I only paid like two bucks for it, but because of nostalgia, you know. But it's cool. Uh, <laughs> has these little like pouches for your cartridges, for your games. So I thought that was pretty neat. It's a piece of history right here. Plus this logo you'd always see on every Game Boy box. It's a Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Pretty neat. But okay, let's go ahead and bring it out here. So yep, that's the OG. <laughs> I mean back then, you know, you didn't really think about like the colors of the system. Like, because, you know, it's kind of basic with this, like, grayish, whitish color. But, you know, it was really all about the games. Hell, this outsold the freaking Game Gear, which had, you know, full screen color, backlit screen, and all that. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun project, to tell you that much. So, let's go ahead and uh, set everything up and go from there. Alrighty folks, so we got everything all set up here. So we got the directional pad, the buttons, got the rubbers for the buttons. <laughs> you know what they say, no glove, no love. <laughs> Alright, and we also got the screws, and I think that little piece goes on the side uh, for the multiplayer connector, or for the link cable connector. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, so I guess we can go ahead and open up the OG Game Boy right here. Go from there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It came with two different size screwdrivers. So, I'm guessing this one's for the big one. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. Righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. Come on out. Haha. I love these how they have like the magnetic tips. So cool. Come on, come on. Get in there, sucker. Oh, it's funny, because, like, this Game Boy I actually found at the Goodwill. The one that weighs stuff. And, well, no, actually, I think I found the Game Boy Color, and I think Blue Ranger Power is the one who actually found the original one for me. Mind you, this, like, I used to own an original Game Boy, but when I was, like, younger. But I'm not sure what happened to it, exactly. Just disappeared out of the blue. <laughs> But hey, at least I got a new one here. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Ah, no. Stop magnifying. <laughs> or magnetizing. Bang it. 
Oh, wait, okay, so there's some screws in there? No, I already did those. Duh. What am I missing here? Alright. Just gotta be very careful. I don't wanna bang up anything. Alright, folks, uh, the only other place that I found screws would be in the battery compartment here. So I already went ahead and took out the four AA batteries here. So hopefully this will make this easier to open apart after this. Oh, come on. Gotta switch the other one, I guess. We'll see. Okay, come on. Get in there. Nope. I think that was the real one. Okay. Hold on, guys. Sorry delay. Ah, it's pretty tight. There we go. Okay, one more. Mind you, this is my first time doing this. Okay, hold on guys. Alrighty folks, sorry about that. I actually had a really stubborn screw that would not come out, so <laughs> kinda had to improvise a bit, so yeah. <laughs> Finally got it off. It was a huge pain. So yeah. So we removed the little ribbon cable that connects the two boards. So Okay, so let's see what we should do next here. So, saying we'll start with the right side over here. So, we'll go ahead and uh, remove the components. Go from there. Yeah, that should be interesting. <laughs> First off, oh, we can't remove that one yet. Oh, okay, of course. I'm still screwed in, so we gotta unscrew the components. There we go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let's get another screw. Let's another screw. Okay, I think we got it. I just gotta remove components here. Just gotta be very careful. So these are on the side. And let's see how I'm gonna get this one off. It, it. Alright, we got most of it out. Let's 
You're gonna remove this part. Oh, of course, there's two more screws. Yep. Usually the case, so let's get those out. Beautiful. Okay, so we got the four gold screws. Aha, yes. Alright, cool, cool. Everything's coming together here. Okay, so we're going to along. Okay, so the ribbon cable. So, let's see here. Let's see what the next step is. Okay, so we got those out of the way, so... I guess to remove all the buttons and screen and all that, got to do some more unscrewing here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Trying to remember which one's which. Okay. Nope, that was the other one. Never mind. Here we go. But yeah, man, this was my first official, like, uh, video game system. Well, I mean, not counting the home consoles, but, you know, this was my very first video game. So it was a Game Boy, and I love this system, man. Especially the first Super Mario World, how different it was from the original game on NES. It's just so good. <laughs> Especially those, uh, rubber bouncing balls instead of fireballs. And like all the different enemies and different worlds. Freaking loved it. Yeah, strangely enough, Super Mario Land didn't have uh, Bowser as the boss. So that was definitely interesting. <sighs> Boy, that's a lot of screws in here. <laughs> This is going to look so badass once it's done. <laughs> I don't know, something about neon green is just so cool to me. Okay, let's see here. Let's get it off now. Not yet? Okay. <laughs> I'm missing a screw probably. Sure that L screws. Ah, okay. Lift it. Oh, leverage. There we go. Nothing broken. Woo, okay, cool. Got all the buttons here. There we go. Alright, cool. So old buttons. Pretty cool. A little clear screen here. Alright, cool, cool. So, got that apart. Okay, so I'll place this over here for the moment. Okay, yeah, we'll keep the new screen for 
No. Right there. Okay. Alright, cool. So... Yeah, hopefully you remember where everything goes. Okay. Alright, so I guess we can bust out the new buttons and everything. Stuff. Button, button, button. I think that's a power button. Start and select all the rubbers. That makes them all gummy. <laughs> all the gummies. Get in. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. Also have some new screws and stuff here, so I'm trying to remember if that one. Okay, so I guess we'll keep the core ones here. I forgot how many there were, but <laughs> the ones that had the most, we'll keep those. And then I guess we can replace the others with these. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Cool. 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 All right, so let's get the good stuff here. Okay, now I just gotta remember where it's what. Which is what? Gum gum. Oh, okay, I think I'll put it on first. My mistake. Okay, so we got the easy one, the start and select buttons. So, this is a brand new one here. I think this was an old one. It's all old and worn out. Dirty. Well, no, actually it was still durable. I mean, I don't know if any of you are familiar with like that one uh, Game Boy that was in one of the wars. I'm not sure which war, but it was like in a museum and it was like burnt to a crisp and run over by a tank or something along those lines. So that's pretty impressive as far as durability goes, the original Game Boy. Oopsie. Wrong way. Gotta hook it here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, good. Good to go. Okay, so next would be the buttons. Okay, making sure these are hooked up right. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sweet, sweet. Oh, excuse me, guys. Gummy buttons. Turn the buttons in properly here. There we go. Hold on. Oh, 
Hold on, I think I had it right the first time. Give me a second. Boom. Okay. That worked out. That worked out. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I got the power button up here. Okay, so that one's just kind of self-explanatory there, so. Okay, so I think we go ahead and install the motherboard now. Yeah, I think this is right. Let's give me a sec here, guys. Get the speaker in there. Get it lined up. There we go. All right. Just make sure everything's good here. Okay. Seems about right. Okay, good. And we'll do the screen last, obviously. But yeah. Okay. So let's see what's next here. I think just screwing back in the screws. Just give me one sec. This one or this one? Okay, so oh, go ahead and screw these back in. Uh, hold on. Whoa, magnetize that speaker. Crazy. Okay, there we go. Uh, hold on, it's probably not the right screwdriver here. Alright, got the right one. Right screwdriver. So just move this out of the way. Okay, come on. Let's get in there. Get in there. Go. Nice and tight. Okay. Get in. Stop magnetizing. <laughs> there we go. screw them in too tight so I know what a pain in the butt was trying to get the original Game Boy's second screw from the battery cover off so it was in pretty tight you know what let's go ahead and just place these it's gonna take me all day just to do it one at a time And I actually did like a uh, another like repair video a couple weeks ago, but decided to scrap it because it wasn't of my quality.
go. Another one down. I don't know man, I might want to mod this thing fully, maybe get the rechargeable battery mod, as well as a backlit screen. Okay, everything feels right on this end, so we just gotta install the rest here. Okay, cool. Okay. Good thing we don't have to <laughs> remove the cartridge slot or anything here, so yeah. So I guess we'll go ahead and install. Oh, okay, so let's see here. Put these on top. See, hopefully that's Oh crap, I forgot to remove the old Game Boy Advance, no Game Boy Advance, <laughs> the old cord or link cable door, because I have to install that new green one to match, so, alright, give me a second. Alright folks, back on track here. Okay, so we're just screwing in again, wrong one, hold on, sorry about that. Go ahead and screw the back half of the motherboard in. Okay, let me get the other one here. Power button installed here, so okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, and then we gotta nail this little component down. Sorry about that, folks. I mean, you can't probably tell from the edited video here, but <laughs> my stupid camera died on me. So I had to switch out the batteries. So I had a spare battery. So we're back on track. 
So we're last working on the this little component here. Just screwing in the screws. I hope it's the right one. Okay. For a minute, it almost felt like, oh, it's turning, but it's not tightening. All right. Come on. Get in there, sucker. Oh my god, come on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the ribbon cable. So, go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, come on, get in there, sucker. Oh, give me a second. Alrighty, folks, just screwing in the last screw on the back of the Game Boy. And then after that, replace the screen lens and should be good all right new lens screen let's go ahead and take off a little film ooh nice and new Yeah, I think I'll remove that last. Get the sticker in the back first. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the OG Game Boy right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> so shiny and new. God, I love this freaking color. <laughs> yeah, they had like a bunch of different ones. But this one always catches my eye. Okay, so I'll do a gameplay demonstration. Show you how awesome it is and go from there. Alright, good old Bub Bob. <laughs> God, this Game Boy looks so freaking cool with this badass neon green shell. Love it. So yeah, I might have to uh, upgrade it with the backlit screen as well as the retractable battery mod. Because I'm really digging this. This is so cool. Do 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 do, Mr. Claire on Game Boy. <laughs> Yeah, those were the old days of Game Boy, man. It's like, oh, there's a clear on my screen. <laughs> or like when you're on a road trip with your family, and you have your Game Boy, and you know, they didn't really have any lights back then, so you, you kind of had to count on like the street lights to light your Game Boy. But yeah. Okay. 
So that is the badass green shell, transparent green shell for original Game Boy. I'm pretty pleased with it, gotta say. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed watching this. And until next time, thank you for watching, and until next video, peace.